Hello everyone, welcome to Street Politics with Talisha. I'm just chiming in on the second thing. I just um, did a video about Judge Kavanaugh that's trying to get sworn in is, is becoming the, um, the Supreme Court justice or whatever. Now, there's a few things that I want to hit on. You know what I'm saying? Like, one thing I don't, I won't do, I won't, I won't say I won't, I won't dehumanize the victim. You know what I'm saying? I just, I want all fair size on both, both parts. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to say she's not a victim. I don't want to say she, she is, you know what I'm saying? Is a victim. We just going off what both, both, both of them is saying. You know what I'm saying? Until you know, facts of the case come out. That's why I like due process. You know what I'm saying? Give both sides a chance to come out. But this is my whole thing, what I don't like. And this be done on both sides of the aisle. It is not just the Democrats. Republicans do it too. People go too far. You know what I'm saying? And when I say go too far, go too far as to... um trying to not get this person elected or this poor person appointed and with the saying that is okay the young lady as we know she she came out I think her name is Christine Ford she came out she's known she's willing to take she already done got a, um, a, a lot of detector test and she's supposed to have stuff from her therapist which she never actually said his name but she told her husband this is my thing. Judge Kavanaugh has been on a bench for years. For years, for years, for years. What make it... Okay, you say this happened when y'all was 17. They look, I don't know. They look in every bit of... I don't know how old they is. 40, 50, they 40 and 50s. I don't know. Whatever. You didn't think to say something when he got appointed to the other benches that he was on. What makes you want to come out now when he been ruling, presiding over cases for years? You know what I'm saying? Who went and found you or did you come out? When you came out, did you go to the, go to the police or did you go to somebody higher up in the, the Democratic Party, which had to be Senator Feinstein, which I think I want to make sure I get this right, that she gave her a letter. What made you do that? If, if you saying he sexually assaulted you, okay, you want to come out now. I'm going to give you this. Okay, that's fine. And then why you don't go to the police? Why you go to these people? That just don't. This is all. I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta call it. You gotta call it like you call it. This ain't nothing but a political, political, politicized move. You know what I'm saying? Cause my thing is, he been okay. You probably feel what you feel. I don't know what you feel like. So, but you feel like he shouldn't get. He shouldn't be on this on this seat. So you thought it was cool for him that somebody that sexually harassed put his. You said he put his hand over your mouth and on this. You think you thought it was cool when he was sitting on the other benches? Like, that just don't make the dirtiness of politics. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why me personally, I could never run for no political, none of that because, you know what I'm saying? People, I, everybody did stuff in their past. You know, I don't know what certain degree, but I just wouldn't want all that coming up for something that I did when I was a kid. Because I did a lot of stuff when I was a kid, a lot of stuff. So, I, I mean, not saying that whatever happened, I'm not saying that particularly what happened with her and him. I'm saying, I don't think, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's fair. And you coming out now, it's, a, it's, you, you, it's making, if it happened to you, people can't even get to that because people looking at, at your timing. Now, you can come out whenever you want to come out. When um, I didn't say nothing years later, but I said some years later because I wanted to say some years later, not because that person was doing something or this person was doing that. No, I was doing what I wanted to do. 
when I wanted to come out. Didn't nobody make me, didn't nobody come find me, none of that. That's what I want to know. Miles. Continue Who? on the Berea Freeway South toward Toledo. That's my idea. Who found you? What made you come? Why are you coming out now? And I just want to, those are the, the questions I want to, why didn't you go to the police? You know, that's a, that's a police matter. Not no, not no senators. If you want to come out, you go, or go to the bar. Go to the bar. You could have went there. Why you didn't, why you didn't do that? That's, that's my whole thing. Like, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this banner going across here. That That's my whole thing. Like, why you, why you go straight to the dem people at, on the Democratic Party with a handwritten letter telling the senator about a man that's supposed to sexually harass you. If you wanted to come out now, you were supposed to go to the police. What the hell is she going to do? She can't do nothing but make it an issue with him going to get his hearing for him for his confirmation here. And this is the dirtiness the of this. Two lanes to continue on to Berea At the end of the day, Toledo. Senator Feinstein, when she gave you that letter back months ago, you held on it. See, this is why people see in the dumb sh That's why I don't nobody even be... A lot of people are just running away from the Democratic Party because at the end of the day, you been knew that. But you felt like you wanted to drop Here's a bombshell. To take exit to merge you wanted to, um, toward Toledo. wanted to find a bombshell in the nigga time to, to stop his confirmation here. And instead of having this coming out now, and they can they can go to a, a hearing, let the lady say what she gonna say, let them, you know what I'm saying? But no, you wanted to wait. But see, this is... This is why I don't yes, nobody sir. be like. This is why I don't be liking none of the stuff that be going on with with with, uh, with none of y'all. Cause I don't like that. I don't like that. Cause you, we could have got this um, settled months ago. What do I know? Y'all don't want Trump to get another person that's on the bench, but that's that's unfair to the American people. We should have been known about this and had months to get down to the facts. But see, it's all the political. This is what they do in a political. They play all these fucking games. And we are the ones that sit back and suffer as the American people. And they sitting here playing Here's the right politics. the take exit nine onto Grayton Road. Like, who? Why, why would y'all? Like, this is something serious. We need. He is going to be a lifetime appointee. We could have had months to get down to the bottom of this. Not wait until his hearing. Then come with this bombshell. Then if they still... They still the exit, um, then turn left onto Grayton Road. Let him get nominated or whatever if he get vet confirmed. It's the left lane to turn onto Grayton Road. It's gonna be another political ploy when it when it's coming up for y'all. See, it's gonna be tit for tat, tit for tat. I just think this is this is utterly ridiculous because if somebody came to your office saying that somebody's supposed left, to sexually harass them, rape them, or whatever, Parkway. what in the hell is you waiting to tell somebody that for? Why is you waiting to tell us something like that? 900 for? feet. Turn left onto Emerald See, this Parkway. Is, this is why we can't take y'all serious. This is why the people is left don't even onto Emerald Parkway. like the Democratic Party. Because y'all play these old weird games. That ain't that ain't something you want to do. And then A quarter like, mile. The destination is on your all left. All these people. 20637 Emerald Parkway. Sorry, y'all. These people, like now this lady, I'm pretty sure she getting harassed like heck. His family, his kids, they getting harassed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Y'all, this, this, I just don't think it should have been um, going on this way. But that's just my opinion. But y'all, I have to let y'all go. Because Destination my... is on your left. 20637 Emerald Parkway. Okay. Arrived. Listen, today my son is getting... Um, I'm about to say confirm. <laughs> My son today is getting um sworn in. He's 17 years old. He wants to go in the Navy. I'm proud of him. I'm a proud mom. I'm proud that my son 
want to do something different with his life. And that I think this would be a good thing for him. You get to travel the world, get the perks of just being a, a military person. And, you know, he want to work on a... I think he'd say he want to be a pilot and work on planes. So today is the first sworn in. I think he get to pick... Um, where he want to get stationed and I have a brother that's in the Navy and a friend a couple of friends that's in the Navy so I want him to get stationed with them because they older you know my son young and you know how just young people are they just need some type of guidance and why by him being um away from me so I'm just excited about that and then I have to talk we have to sit down and have a serious talk because you know you 18 you young you you a lot of People, I mean, it is what it is. People throw themselves at you, but I don't want you to get caught up in none of this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want nobody trying to tear you down, bring you down over a mishap or anything like that. So I had to talk to my son and prepare him. But I got months I always talk to him. So I'm just excited to come see him get sworn. I can't wait to see him in his little uniform as a proud American mom. Now, I'm officially about to be a Navy mom. So see you guys later. But that was just my thoughts on on that. And I'm just gonna watch how this how this plays out. You know what I'm saying? Like all this should they should have these hearings. I hope they have it public where the public can see. I don't want none behind closed doors. But you know what? People that's on the, them senators that pulled this stunt that's in her city. Y'all need to see what's going on with her. This I don't think that was fair for her to do. Let me get out of my car. I can't take too long. See you guys.